What is going on world? What's up Twitch? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode of the Gears Cast. Welcome everyone to the Gears Cast, the best Gears of War podcast here on YouTube. If you're watching this live on Twitch, the best Gears of War podcast on Twitch. And I'm super excited about our episode here today. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's get into it. Welcome everyone to the Gears Cast. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking some time out of your day or night to watch this episode of the Gears Cast. We've got a number of things that we're going to be talking about on this episode of the show, guys. Super excited about it. I've got uh, some topics, um, some th you know, some things in terms of updates and things of that nature revolving around Gears of War Six, the potential, you know possibility of a Gears of War collection as well. And so I, I definitely want to just go ahead and jump right into this thing. I want to say uh, thank you guys for all of the new followers, all of the new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's because of you guys and girls out there that we are growing on YouTube. We are growing on Twitch every single day. And like I said, guys, even on like our social media platforms, all of those things, it's because of you guys that we're growing and I appreciate all of you. I've got a lot of things I can't wait to, to share with you, a lot of announcements and things of that nature that you're going to be seeing in the coming weeks. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to start talking more about it in the foreseeable future in terms of some of the things that we have planned on YouTube, on Twitch and, and, and so on and so forth. So really, really excited about it. I want to talk about some developments that we've been getting about Gears of War 6 in particular. Obviously, there's been a lot of rumblings, a lot of rumors, speculation going around the community in terms of, you know, when can we expect Gears of War 6? When could we potentially see a Gears of War collection? I get these questions all the time on my YouTube channel as well as on Twitch here. We get those questions a lot, right? And, and obviously, I don't have insider information, guys, in regard to what's happening behind the scenes over at the Coalition but we've got a lot of things that are coming out in, in terms of articles, lots of speculation, a lot of things that uh, are, are, are starting to come to the forefront. So I definitely want to talk about all of those things with you here today on the Gearscast. So where we start, and by the way, guys, welcome everyone who's joining us for uh, joining us into the Gearscast. I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for being here. So let, let's talk about specifically some updates that are going on with, with Gears of War 6, Gear 6, whatever you want to call it at this point in time. So some stuff that obviously, you know, some of us in the community did not want to hear, but this is an article that's coming to us from comic book gaming Tyler Fisher. So, the Gear 6 update isn't the update Xbox fans wanted. So, I want to go ahead and I want to talk about this, break it down. I want to get your guys' thoughts about this, um, obviously, in the comment section down below. Or, if you're watching this on Twitch, definitely want to hear what your guys' thoughts uh, on this are. So, a new update out of the coalition isn't the update Gears of War or Xbox fans wanted to hear. Right now, the expectation is that the studio is working on the next Gears of War game, likely called Gears 6. Why is this the expectation? Well, because since its birth, it's only made Gears of War games, and when you consider the IP as one of Xbox's biggest, you'd expect this work to continue. To this end, many have taken a new job listing to mean the game is nowhere near release. So, yes, guys, so let's talk about this new job listing that came out from the Coalition. Well, the job listing in question is for a lead mission designer. This is a pretty prominent role in a studio, so this job listing means one of two things. One, the game is in the early stages of development, and the studio is bulk bulking up for development. This would be bad news for fans of the series, as it would confirm the game is nowhere near release. Of course, development of every game is different, and there are so many variables, but if this is true, it likely would mean the game is roughly three years out. So... Yes, let's talk about this. Obviously, we've been talking a lot, guys, on the YouTube channel 
By the way, you guys can check out all of my Gears of War content on the channel. But uh, yes, we've been talking a lot about the job listings coming out of the coalition. What do these job listings mean uh, in, in terms of when we start talking about Gears of War 6, how far out are we? Obviously, them bringing on a lead mission designer, this kind of, this obviously gives me, a, you know, I have a couple of thoughts here in regard to this, because if you're bringing on a lead mission designer, it means one of a couple of things. Obviously, you know, they're hiring a new lead mission designer. Does that mean that they didn't have one before? That's kind of what I'm I'm wondering. Did they not have a lead mission designer up to this point um, for Gear 6? That is one question. Another would be maybe the lead mission designer that was there at the Coalition ended up leaving and, you know, moved on to a, a different studio, things of that nature. There could be a number of things that happened there. So maybe... Gears of War 6 is in the very early stages of development if they obviously are just now bringing on a lead mission designer if they didn't have one beforehand. But it also could mean that maybe the mission designer that was there ended up leaving and now they're looking for a new lead in that uh, you know particular area. Regardless, it doesn't really even matter which way you look at it from that perspective because even if you had someone that was there as the lead mission designer, most likely... The next lead mission designer that would come in would probably have a little bit of a different vision that that other than that other uh, mission designer had for like the story and things of that nature, um, and so a lot of things could end up being scrapped and then they end up like doing a lot of these things over again. All in all, guys, it's not necessarily. Um, I, I would have to say, even though I, we know that the development on Gears of War 6 is ramping up. It's definitely something that is unfortunate to hear either way because it's probably further out than we had anticipated. Now, I had originally said, guys, that the Gears of War collection was most likely going to come out in 2022. Obviously, that's not happening. It didn't get announced at the Xbox Game Showcase. There are some people saying that the Gears of War collection doesn't exist. So, in my mind, though, I believe it exists I just think that it's probably another year away. We're probably going to get an announcement for it at some point next year in 2022 or 2023. And then it'll probably release in uh, late 2023. That would be, of course, the Gears of War remaster, you know, one, two, three, as well as Judgment. That'll be the bridge title to get us to Gear 6. Gear 6 is most likely, like I was saying, probably 2024 or 2025. Um, and the more information that's coming out now, guys, about, uh, you know, the hirings from the Coalition... It seems like Gear 6 very well may be now pushed more so to 2025 um, or even maybe 2026, which would be the longest stretch of time that we've ever had between Gears of War titles. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think that, you know, the Coalition, Xbox, they want to do this thing right. They want to take their time. And I think that's great because that means that we're going to get a better or we should at least be getting a, a really great product here um, at the end of the day. But uh, the, store, uh, the article continues here, and it continues with, The alternative is the studio recently lost its lead mission designer and is now having to find a new one during development. This wouldn't be ideal either. Of course, there are other explanations and no guarantee this is even for Gears of War 6. However, these other possibilities are seemingly less likely. And for what it's worth, the job listing mentions forging the future of the IP after name-dropping Gears of War and noting the studio is the official home of the series. In other words, it seems to be Gears of War related, though perhaps it won't be Gears of War 6. I believe, guys, it's... Look, there's only so many things that it could be that the Coalition's working on. All right, number one, Gears of War collection. That's something that a lot of people are talking about. And could it be the Gears of War collect, uh, collection? Absolutely. I mean, it could. However, why would a remaster of the original titles need a lead mission designer? It doesn't make any sense. The same thing goes with like motion capture. The coalition's hiring motion capture. They're not going to be doing motion capture on those, you know, a, you know, remastered uh, Gears of War titles. That being what we think Gears 1, 2, 3, and Judgment. So a lead mission designer is going to be for the next Gears of War title or 
Could it be for something else that the coalition's working on? It's been reported that the coalition is working on a couple of things. Not only are they working on Gear 6, or we should say the future Gears War, but they're also working on a new IP altogether. It's like their own IP. I don't know if it's going to be in the Gears of War universe, but apparently it's going to be a completely new IP altogether. And lastly, they are helping out, reportedly, helping out with the Perfect Dark reboot. So a number of these things, obviously a lead mission designer doesn't make sense for the Perfect Dark reboot because they're not the ones that are heading it up, right? They're just helping out and assisting on the Perfect Dark reboot. To me, it's either Gears of War 6 or it is for this new IP altogether that the Coalition's working on. I, I don't believe that the Coalition has a massive team working on this new IP um, unless Microsoft feels very confident in what they're doing. And the Gears of War collection, I believe, is actually being worked on by another company, like People Can Fly or another company altogether that can just kind of assist the Coalition so the Coalition has all hands on deck with Gears of War 6. Allowing someone else to work on the remaster, I think, would be very smart. And People Can Fly, I think, would be perfect for that. Um, there's a couple other companies like Epic Games would be awesome to see them do the Gears of War collection. I don't think they probably are, but that would be awesome. So this really leads me to either Gears of War or the new IP that the Coalition is working on. So here we go. The, the Coalition is seeking an inspiring, highly motivated mission design lead with a proven track record of delivering highly engaging, high quality campaign experiences in games. Uh, this is what the job listing reads. In this position, you will work with the campaign director and the level design team to design the campaign experience, its pacing, its rewards, and the features that surround it. You will be expected to lead the level design team and set the priorities, partner with, and guide other members of the design team, the level art team, programmers, and other design disciplines to help make the design vision set out by design direction a reality. So at the moment of publishing, none of the implicated parties have commented on the job listing and the speculation it has created. So look, here's the deal. Um, one of the, one of the big things that I think are very, very important that, that we all, you know, talk about here is look. Gears of War 6, guys, is definitely being made. Whether it's called Gears of War 6, Gear 6, or Gears of War, you know, um, Forever, what, whatever the title is, doesn't matter. The future of Gears of War is being worked on. There's definite, I mean, we can go back to Rod Ferguson, who was the studio head at the Coalition at the time. Before he left the Coalition, he had confirmed a Gears of War 6, a Gears 7, as well as a Gears of War movie. All of those things got confirmed by him. Now, obviously, he's not there anymore, right? He is now working on the new Diablo title with uh, Blizzard. And, uh, you know, happy for him. And, uh, you know, hopefully he has great success with his future endeavors. But I do believe that there's something to be said there, that a gear that there's definitely a, an idea in the Coalition's mind, even with him no longer being there, for a Gears of War 6, a Gears 7, um, a Gears of War movie, I believe, is something that they're definitely wanting to do as well. Is it something that's going to happen? That You know, that's another conversation for another day. But I, I, I really believe, guys, that Gears of War is, even though there, it's at an... I'm not going to say all-time lows because it's definitely not at all-time lows. I believe the all-time lows were definitely in the past, that being with Gears of War Judgment. I thought those were the dark ages of Gears of War. We're at a lull in time. We're at a, a limbo state right here, right now. With Gears of War 5, obviously, um, you know, when we look at it, Gears 5 is no longer being supported. The esports scene has been dropped at this point. So the Coalition is completely focusing now on the future of Gears of War as well as their own future IP that they're working on over there. And so I think at the end of the day, even though this doesn't sound like great news, like they're, you know, looking for a new lead mission designer, obviously, guys, the concepts, all of those things, I believe, are in place because... Obviously, they already have a campaign director. They already have a level design team that's there. The mission design lead, obviously, is going to be something interesting, but they're going to be working closely with the, the campaign director. And so, you know, unfortunately, 
I do think that this is something that does mean there are going to be more delays with Gear 6, for sure. Um, you know, we originally thought 2024, 2025 was probably going to be when we were going to get the next installment in Gears of War. And I still believe that that's probably the timeline, but I think it's probably more likely going to be 2025 now. Unless the Coalition, you know, they've got, you know, they they really speed things up. They want to get things really, you know, fine-tuned, but they want things, they, they're on a, a time crunch, right? And that that's, you never want that to really be a reality, but there may be that type of thing. Micro, it depends on what Microsoft's, you know, uh, motives are, their ambitions here in terms of when they want to get the next Gears title out, or maybe they're fine with the Coalition taking their time and doing it right. And if that's the case, take your time coalition take your time we want to have the perfect title come out we want to have something where at launch it's well polished it's ready to go there's not a bunch of bugs glitches things of that nature and we have a launch similar to halo infinite's launch which was absolutely incredible i also though want the coalition to learn from the mistakes of halo you know that being like you know obviously Halo Infinite didn't launch with everything there, like Forge mode and then the HCS, they didn't have a real like long-term, they probably have a long-term plan for it, but they didn't have things in place, you know, um, that had consistent tournaments, you know, ready to go. It was more one of those things where the tournaments have been, you know, planned out. Um, and the issue is, is that's, there's five month lulls between tournaments and majors and such. Obviously I do not want that to happen with gears esports with gears of war six. So making sure everything's fine tuned, ready to go is going to be absolutely massive. But with that down, what do you guys think about all of this? I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the in the comment section down below, guys. What do you think about, you know, this new lead mission designer being hired from the coalition? Do you think this is Good news, bad news, um, in terms in terms of the time frame or the timeline of when Gear 6 could be coming out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And for more Gears of War 6 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV. It's kind of interesting. Um, we've look, we've been getting uh, all kinds of new talk and, and and regarding Gears of War as a whole. We've been having you know, from the multiplayer to the campaign, what all is going to be brought into the next title in our beloved franchise. What is, what's next, essentially, is what a lot of people have been asking. And, you know, we can speculate all we want. But, you know, as more information's coming out about, where we're at here currently with Gears of War, I wanted to, you know, talk about, obviously, with the recent job listings that have been coming out from the Coalition, in particular, the lead mission designer, this kind of leads us to something like a confirmation, essentially, of sorts when it comes to Gear 6. Let's talk about it. With the announcement of a lead mission designer coming to the forefront for Gears of War um, and coming to the forefront really more more than anything coming to the forefront here for for Gear 6 or the the next iteration of Gears of War what it does for us is it confirms that Gears of War 6 is in development currently and it's probably pretty close to becoming very, very, you know, um, active development from a campaign perspective. Obviously, they're hiring motion capture. They're hiring now the lead mission designer, which probably the lead mission designer was someone um, that may have potentially was someone that left the coalition to work with another development team or whatever the case may be. And now they're looking for a new lead mission designer. So it could be negative. It could be, it could be more of a positive. It's, it's kind of hard to tell at this current juncture in time. So let's talk specifics here. Um, you know, there's, there's a bunch of articles that have come out guys, and I definitely want to talk about this with, with all of you. Um, so this is coming to us from Pure Xbox, Ben Carey over there. He um, went ahead and he 
in his article says it's looking like development on the next Gears of War game is ramping up, at least according to a new job listing over at Microsoft's career pro portal. The post, which is advertising for a lead mission designer, talks about the future of the series and how the applicant will be working closely with the campaign director on the next game. So obviously we already talked about this, but what a lot of people are talking about right now is that this new, this lead mission designer is coming into something that obviously is already being worked on. So active development is kind of like the key focal point here, guys. The next Gears of War title is in active development right here, right now. Now, look, a lot of people look at this as doom and gloom for the Gears of War franchise because we have to wait a lot longer for it. And a lot of people are going to forget about Gears of War. And there's just a lot of like kind of drama going on around the community in, in that regard. But in my mind, guys, this is actually, you want to have the right people there. You And you want to have people that want to be there at the coalition. Let's just say, for example, there was a lead mission designer before they started hiring uh, this, this new one. I mean, maybe the lead mission designer is actually a completely new role that they're looking for. Like they didn't have one before and they, they wanted to bring more, kind of bring more hands on deck to help out with the creative juices going on over at the coalition to bring some more, you know, different visions and things of that nature. But let's just say theoretically there was a lead mission designer and they ended up leaving. Well, obviously they didn't want to be there or they, you know, left because they got a better opportunity or, you know, there, there's a number of things there. I think you could look at it from a negative perspective saying that, hey, it's going to take longer before Gears 6 comes out. The way I look at it though, guys, is that if there's more, if there's more time needed to build this thing, let it happen. Because if they build it and they build it properly, we will come. Everybody will end up, you know, flooding to this game to at least check it out because it's been a number of years as we've been waiting for the, the future of the franchise. And let's just say like it, you know, the more time that they, that they take here, the Xbox is allowing and allotting for more time for the coalition. It could really make for a very special title. Uh, something that we have not seen in Gears of War for, for quite some time. I mean, think about it. I mean, the last great Gears of War title, and, and look, I loved Gears 5. Not everybody loved it, though. I loved Gears 5. I thought it was awesome. But even Gears of War 4 was, in my mind, was a great, uh, I thought it was a great addition to, to the franchise. Now, some people will say that the last great title in Gears of War's history was Gears of War 3. And I will say that, I have a little pushback there because Gears of War 3 was my favorite Gears of War title ever made and to this day. And Gears of War 3, I believe, I mean, it's my favorite game of all time. So when when you look at it from that perspective, yeah, it was my favorite Gears title, but it was also my favorite game of all time. I mean, the Gears of War titles are all, I mean, some of my favorites ever. You know, Gears, Call of Duty, and StarCraft. I mean, those are the big three to me. Those are my favorite games of all time. So it's like, you know, obviously I'm, I'm passionate about Gears, but that being said, though, you know, if you're trying to kind of build the expectation that every Gears of War title has to eclipse Gears of War 3, look, I want them to. I mean, because I think that that was like the peak of Gears of War. Um, and if we would have just kept on, you know, pushing from that point, it, it, you know, where we could be could be totally different. It could be you know, the lar one of the largest third person shooter in the world. I mean, sure, Fortnite is out and that, you know, that that's changed the game uh, in general. But in terms of like from an esports perspective, all of that, I think that all of those things could still be happening if we really would have built from Gears of War 3. But what happened was Gears of War Judgment comes out and that led us to the dark ages of Gears, in my opinion. And then obviously the transition from Epic Games to the, uh, the Coalition I've thought that Gears of War 4 as well as Gears 5 were great additions to the Gears of War franchise. They introduced new things, you know, semi-open world feel, um, escalation as a game mode. I mean, just all kinds of things, right? That really, um, I think that we're helping to build upon the legacy of Gears of War. But this extra time could be something very special for the Coalition. The more time that they have, the better the title could be, right? Especially with them going on the new engine, that being Unreal Engine 5. There's a lot of excitement, a, a lot of promise, I think, when we talk about those things. That being said, 
This isn't wholly surprising. The studio was literally named after the game's friendly faction, but still, we weren't totally sure on what was next for the Coalition after Gears 5. There have been rumors that the Canadian team is working on a different IP to Gears, and Xbox Aaron Greenberg mentioned earlier this year that the studio was focusing on several unannounced projects. Regardless of what else is on the cards, it's looking like Gears 6 will certainly be a thing in some fashion. Recently, the developer all but ended support for Gears 5 when it pulled the game's map builder feature, giving out some handy achievements in the process. Back then, the reason for removing the mode was to focus on future projects. So, you know, a lot of people are asking, would you rather have a Gears 6 come out or... The Coalition's new IP. I mean, that's a that's a really interesting question. For me, at least, obviously, my answer is going to be Gear 6, without question. I think that Gear 6 is, you know, the future of Gears of War, so I think that I personally really want to see come out first. Do I want to see the Coalition work on a new IP? I do, actually. I, I think that would be good to see, you know, how they do with, like, you know, some other projects. Now, the only, my only hesitation is obviously if you're working on other IPs, you're not going to be totally focused on that one thing that you want to be the best at. And that would be Gears of War, right? I mean, cause I, you know, when I think about other studios out there, some of my favorite studios of all time, let's, let's look at Treyarch. Let's look at Infinity Ward. Those are two of my favorite development studios and all they work on is Call of Duty. That's all they work on at this point in time. At this current juncture in time, all they work on is COD. Now, Call of Duty, of course, is a lot bigger than Gears of War, but they focus on their one thing. To me, the Coalition should be working on their one thing. I mean, sure, if they want to help assist with other projects, that's fine. My only concern about them doing a new IP, even though I would be interested in it, because could it be something that is in the Gears of War universe, or could it be something that, you know, has a lot of Gears of War mechanics, kind of like Outriders, you know, people can play, you know, um, you know, made uh, Outriders, and you know, a lot of people like Outriders for what it is, um, and it's got some Gears of War-esque elements to it. So the Coalition working on a new IP, you know, I'm not like totally opposed to it, but I just personally think that you need to be focused on one thing you focus on that one thing and that's where it's going to be very it could be very special um for for the long term uh so to me i would much rather see a gear six first than the coalition's new ip that is for sure um and if the coalition brings out their new ip first before gear six my wonder is, is it really going to be like a, a big project? Like a, a, this new IP, could it be just like a mobile game? Could it be something that's like kind of like a Gears Tactics or something? Something really just different? It could, uh, but I, I would prefer them to be all hands on deck on Gears 6, the future of Gears of War, and then they can work on their new their their own IP on the side for sure. Um but what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below. What would you guys like to see? Would, would you rather the Coalition work on and bring out the new IP first or Gear 6 first? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Gears of War content and videos, stay here with Zero TV. We were talking about some of the, you know, the job listing that came out about the lead mission designer. But there was even some other things, uh, some other positions that the coalition is ramping up production for. Obviously, there are a lot of question marks because you know around the coalition right now because they haven't really come out to tell us exactly what's going on. They're not they, they really haven't communicated a lot. They've communicated that they're working on the future of gears, but they're not going to have anything to share for a while. And so I understand, you know, if they just, they, they told us that and that's perfect. I mean, great. I wish that they would have given us a little bit of a, you know, uh, I, I, w I wish that they would continue have like a couple of, you know, some people from the coalition still supporting Gears 5 and Gears Esports. I think that would be, you know, really nice so that we can kind of continue having things to be excited about, even though like... We know that Gear 6 is, is going to be a, a ways away. It'd be nice for them to be supporting these things. But they're not. 
And, you know, I want to talk about this, uh, this article that came out from Jose Garcia from Dual Shockers. As per job listings on the Microsoft career page, the coalition, the first party Xbox studio responsible for the Gears War franchise is currently looking to fill several vacancies for the next Gears game. Some of these positions are quite high pedigree. Their job descriptions stating the responsibility of guiding important aspects of game creation from a fundamental and managerial level. So the latest uploaded position was for a senior character artist. Um, this may not be a lead position, but it is still an imperative role that is advertised to make significant contributions to the creation of character art. Recent positions also include lead mission designer, which we already talked about, and even lead narrative designer. The latter lead narrative designer was uploaded a few months ago back in May of 2022. However, it is still listed as an open full-time role available on the coalition's website. So this gets me back to, before we move on from this, this gets me back to the coalition are taking their time and doing it right. And I mean, obviously, like just that position alone, the lead narrative designer, they still that was uploaded months ago and they still don't have that position filled yet. So what I'm getting at is they're taking their time. They want to find the right people. And I think this is huge. And I think I want to give a massive shout out to Xbox. If Xbox is allowing the coalition to take their time to make sure that this next upcoming Gears title is absolutely incredible. It absolutely crushes in terms of not only from a sales perspective, but from narrative to gameplay to multiplayer to esports, all of those things. I, we want this to be the biggest and greatest Gears of War title ever made. And this is why if Xbox is allowing for this amount of time to be happening, I, I'm, I'm so excited for it. I'm all in for it. I, I like. I think it could be something so special, guys, if Xbox is allowing for the coalition to take this much time. How, how far out are we talking gear six to be at this point in time? Cause it, it could be a ways off based on what we're hearing right now about how much, you know, that like how many positions are trying to be filled. It's not even so much the positions they're trying to fill. It's the role we're talking managerial roles. We're talking lead roles from a, development perspective. And so that's something that definitely we have to, we have to think about. Now the lead mission designer job lists responsibilities such as lead the level design team through strong mentorship and shepherd campaign mission and level development from paper through completion. It also speaks of developing roadmaps and estimates for the completion of these levels. Meanwhile, the lead narrative designer will have the responsibility of collaborating with creative leadership to help define a compelling story and create and maintain fun, playable experiences that connect gameplay systems, mission design, and level design with storytelling moments. So, look, when I'm hearing them talk like this, in terms of like the you know, the scope of what these positions are going to have and what they're going to, you know, be doing in these positions. I mean, we're, we're, we may be a pretty far ways away from gear six coming out guys. And like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because really if they're taking their time with this, that's, that's good. I really think that's good because I don't ever want to have what happened with gears of war judgment to happen again, where we went into the dark ages of Gears of War. And right now, guys, we're not in the dark ages of Gears. Where we are right now is a limbo state. Right now, we are in a lull in time in the Gears of War franchise. That's where we are. Because I love Gears 5. I think Gears 5 is awesome. And I definitely think, I wish it was being supported still, because if it were being supported, I think we could definitely get to the next Gears of War title with relative ease. But since it's not being supported, it's going to come up to us as the community to really push this thing forward. The same thing, you know, goes with, you know, from a competitive perspective, all of those things, guys. I mean, it is very, very important that, you know, we do like, you know, some community events, things of that nature while we're waiting for the next Gears title. And I do think that the Gears War Collection could be the next title that comes out next year to kind of bridge the gap between, you know, Gears 5 to the Gears War Collection to Gear 6, you know, especially if Gear 6 isn't coming out until 2025 or 2026. 
I've said it's going to come out in 2024 or 2025, which I'm going to stick with that. But I, I think that, you know, th this is very subject to change. That's for sure, guys. Gears of War is one of Xbox's biggest and most important franchises. The beloved IP started in 2006 when the first game of the same name was released ex exclusively for the Xbox 360. This was developed by Epic Games back before Fortnite made it uh, the publishing powerhouse it is today. Epic went on to make two more titles during the 360 area, but the IP was later purchased by Microsoft and designated to the Coalition who then went on to make Gears 4 and Gears 5 for the Xbox One. Gears 5, which came out in 2019, was well-received, so now three years later, fans are hoping to at, least hear, to at least hear about the next game in development. So, yes, guys, the Coalition made it clear back in May 2021 via a press release on their website that due to moving to Unreal Engine 5 being such a big undertaking, they wouldn't be announcing anything for some time. These job postings now a year later show that the next Gears project is still in relatively early stages. No announcement timeline can be confirmed, of course, as sometimes studios do announce games that haven't been in development for a long time. So obviously, guys, it sounds like Gears 6 is going to be still a ways away. And in reality, I am totally okay with the Coalition taking their time doing it right, like I said. Um, I'd like to get, you know, some updates as time goes from the Coalition, especially because all they're working on is this title. So it, I think what would be really awesome is if next year we got the Gears of War collection announced and alongside it would also be like a quick tease of Gear 6 just to let everyone know like, okay, Gear 6, it's announced, it's coming. Um, and, you know, then maybe in 2024 we get the release date and then in 2025 it comes out or something of that nature. All we're asking for is some transparency here with, you know, the community to the coalition. All of those things I think are very, very important. And obviously because the Gears community is in such a limbo state, not knowing what to expect with the future, it really comes down to us as the community, guys. If you don't, you know, if you create content, create content around Gears of War if you love Gears of War. Because we got to keep this thing rolling, guys. Got to keep this thing alive, right, for, for the, the foreseeable future. If you don't create content and you don't stream, definitely support your favorite content creators, support your favorite streamers. It's what we got to do, guys, in order for this thing to be a sustainable ecosystem before we get to Gear 6 or the Gears of War collection, whatever the future is of Gears of War. But I'm going to be creating content, guys, every single day. New content's going up on my YouTube channel. You guys can check out all of that content on the channel, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you who are coming and, and joining us and, and subscribing and liking the content it helps out in a massive way. That being said, though, what do you guys think? When do you think we're going to be getting the next Gears of War title? Do you think it'll be next year, 2024, 2025, 2026 or later? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Gear 6 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV. I want to say thank you, as always, for joining me for this episode of the Gears Cast. Lots of things are happening behind the scenes, guys. Um, I can't wait to share more with all of you. The best way to connect with me is going to be on social media, guys. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at zero underscore TV. Also, obviously, we're going to be streaming here on Twitch. You guys can check out all of my daily YouTube content revolving around Gears of War on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check that out. And thank you so much for all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you so much, guys, for all the new followers, all the new subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. It's because of you that we are growing every single day. Thank you so much for that, guys. Thank you, as always, guys, for all of you for being here. I can't wait for the future of what's happening and for what we're doing day in and day out. Super excited about it, guys. Can't wait to share more with all of you. Thanks again, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Gears Cast, make sure you leave a thumbs up, follow if you guys are new, subscribe if you guys are new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace.